Titus Flavius Domitianus, better known as Emperor Domitian, brother of Emperor Titus, took to the Roman throne in 81 AD. Now here was a man who didn't feel the need to share power with the Senate, breaking with tradition, frequently bypassing the Senate in political decisions. He demanded to be addressed as Dominus et Deus, Master and God. Humble, he definitely wasn't. The Emperor also held a unique fascination for the goddess Minerva. He dedicated hours each day in her temple, immersed in writing poetry. Haunted by conspiratorial fears, Domitian exiled or executed perceived threats, including high-ranking officials and family members. He reputedly banished all philosophers from Rome, and it is said he arranged the murder of a Vestal Virgin, who was buried alive in a specially constructed tomb. And let's not forget his personal life. Domitian, like any good Roman drama, had a love triangle with his wife and his niece, quite the family man. He often chose solitude over public interaction, preferring the confines of his private quarters. In 96 AD, his rule came to an abrupt end when he was assassinated.